Greetings, everyone. I am the Minister of Wellness, Nathaniel Jordan. I welcome you to our Wellness Wednesday segment airing right here on Watching Reports and Redirecting, examining health and wellness from a biblical slash Israelite perspective, the optimal perspective. Um, I am going to dive into some of the scriptures talking about the dietary laws on the uh, video I did a couple weeks ago where science proves that we shouldn't be eating the pig. And it got over 50,000 views and the comment section was flooded uh, with a bunch of trolls who believe that a bunch of food addicted, um, insane trolls who believe that uh, they have authority in the New Testament to just throw any slop down their throat. Um, I was called all I was called uh, all, uh, every name under the sun just because I believe that Yah cares about what we eat and that there are certain animals that he created that we shouldn't be eating and putting in our mouths. And he out he laid out those instructions in his word. And there's no te there's no scriptures in the New Testament um, that goes against that. None. The vision of Peter, first Timothy four concerning praying with things get all of those they're misused they're misquoted uh it's sad that people have taken the words of the apostle paul and 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 just hacked them to shreds to support um to, to support their gluttony and their food addiction it, it really is sad uh because he didn't mean for his message to get twisted like that but i i will start diving into that uh, but people who are food addicts they don't care food addiction makes you illogical it makes you illogical. You don't want the truth. You don't want to hear the truth because all they'll say in the end, even if I I can spend 10, I can do a 10 part segment breaking down every single scripture they throw at me and you guys about why they can eat the pork and the barbecue ribs and the catfish. I can break down all of those scriptures and I can all of them. And, and box them in to where they have no excuse, but the power of food addiction is so strong, all they'll do is they'll throw their hands up and say, we all going to die anyways. So there's nothing you can say to a food addict. All you can do is live by example. You be healthy, be lean, be healthy, because if you're overweight, nobody's going to listen to you. So you get lean, you get healthy, and just be a living example and let Y'all touch their hearts and they'll come to you. But trying to convince a food addict, but that's all they're going to throw at you. When you box them in and you show them the truth, biblically, scientifically, all they're going to say is they'll, that's, that's, that's the last, that's like the last pitch, you know, that they give you. We all, you can do all that, eat all them vegetables, do all that working out, but you're going to die anyways and they're right but this isn't about avoiding death okay it's about living a long it's about living your life in excellent health is making the best out of the time that we have that's what it's about uh but we're not we're going to talk about chicken nuggets today chicken nuggets frozen chicken nuggets processed junk food or freaking food that these sorcerers make Put this chemical, that chemical, this chemical, flavor it up. Putting psychiatric drugs in the processed foods to where you have people that are in a state of lunacy. They're walking around like zombies. Can't stop eating this garbage. And it's fried their brain so much that they'll defend eating it. Willing to die, sacrifice their life, their children's lives. Don't want to hear no truth. And attack anyone that tells them the truth about these franken foods that's killing them and destroying the health of their children. Don't even care. Don't even care. So frozen chicken nuggets have been recalled because they they contain pieces of wood. I mean, they feed the chickens wood shingles anyway, and then most of these chicken nuggets ain't even made from real chickens. But the chickens ain't real chickens anyway, because the, the, the way that they raise them and the diet that they feed them. A few years back, food companies were forced to recall thousands of pounds of their chicken nugget products after people started reporting 
about finding bits of plastic in their bite sized foods. The crisis has repeated itself anew. But instead of pieces of plastic, the processed food has somehow been contaminated with chunks of wood. The U.S. Department of Agriculture recently announced that Purdue Foods is recalling more than 68,000 pounds of chicken breast nuggets sold under the brand. Pay attention, Purdue Simply Smart Organics. Purdue Simply Smart Organics. Listen, the USDA, if they coming out with a recall, that means it's bad because all these government agencies, they work for the corporations. Their job is to defend the profits of the food industry, of Big Pharma. So when things get so bad that these devils have to, that they have to start pulling stuff off the shelf, it's bad. So you need to pay attention. If you're buying these frozen chicken nuggets, um, because because you don't want to make your own food from scratch. And when we all have been infected, we're in a culture of laziness. People don't want to do nothing for themselves. They don't want to do nothing. OK, and that's why this stuff can seem depressing. I, I told a brother on on my Facebook page, the Minister of Wellness, you can go to my Facebook page. I post recipes and I was uh, letting him know. Uh, because he was like, man, this can really become depressing, you know, can't do this and can't drink that. And it's really not. The reason why it seems that way is because we're all lazy. We're lazy now. We depend on the government for our juices, for our water. And so that's why all of this information can seem overwhelming. But really, the message is, is that we need to go back to self-sufficiency. If we were completely self-sufficient, and we depending on ourselves and each other, our neighbors for food and drink. And so it wouldn't seem that depressing. It's only depressing because of the way we're living in 2019. But the way we're living, depending on wicked, greedy government agencies that only care about money to feed us. That's why it's depressing. That no, nah, man, we got to start making our own stuff. We can't. We got to stop being lazy because they don't care about us. They're poisoning us for the love of money and for and as a tool of population control to control people by putting mind altering drugs in these foods that dumb people down. They putting hormones in these foods that are changing people's sex hormones fueling this LGBTQRSWYZ nonsense. Okay, we can't depend on them. And so for many of us, because we have for so long, it can, it can, it can seem overwhelming. But we can do all things through the Mashiach who strengthens us. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. And we have to take every single thought and action under the obedience of Yahusha HaMashiach so he can deliver us from the spirit of depending on our enemies for food and drink. Because that's what we're all doing. And I'm saying our because I'm still in that. I'm still in that. I'm not completely self-sufficient with my diet. I am depending on my enemy to give me healthy food. What type of sense does that make? It doesn't. And we know it doesn't. But we've been stuck in this way for so long that it can become depressing that we can't trust nothing that they're putting on the shelves. The affected processed food product is proudly advertised as as having been made from the meat of organically raised chickens. The chicken nuggets are also supposedly free of potentially harmful protein called gluten, which is very difficult to digest and may therefore cause health problems in the intestines such as celiac disease. And listen, Tyson Foods, they recalled over 130,000 pounds of chicken nuggets uh, after they was found to be uh, contaminated with plastic. In the USDA statement, Purdue initiated the recall of the product after getting complaints from several consumers who discovered pieces of wood in the chicken nuggets they were chowing down. Another separate complaint made its way to the Food Safety and Inspection Service of the USDA. Company spokespersons issued a company statement in advising customers to avoid eating the recalled chicken nuggets. 
Purdue promised to completely refund customers who contacted the company about finding wood pieces inside their purchased product. Of the 50,000 packages Purdue is recalling, the company believed that only a small number would actually contain wood. However, it was better to be safe than sorry. Out of the out of an abundance of caution, we have decided to recall all packages of Purdue Simply Smart organic gluten free chicken breast nuggets produced during the same product run, explained Jeff Shaw, the company's vice president for quality assurance. As of the time of this article that I'm reading, no one has been reported injured by wood pieces found inside chicken nugget, but but eating uh, processed chicken foods cause cancer anyway. I mean, so forget the wood shingles. You shouldn't be eating this garbage anyway. It raises insulin like growth factor one. That's a growth hormone that causes cancer. And then what about the breading? What is the breading made of? It's made of white flour. That's a drug that shuts off leptin. And that's why you can eat a whole bag of this garbage. Because when leptin is turned off, you can eat all day, even if you're as big as a house. Okay, and white flour also it also creates mental illness because it's processed like you just swallowed a cube of sugar and that creates all sorts of behavior pathologies when you shoot the brain up with sugar. There's nothing healthy about no doggone chicken nuggets. I don't care if it's organic. I don't care if they raise the chicken right. It ain't nothing healthy about slicing up chicken breast and battering it and deep frying it until it's some nuggets. And bacon is not going to help you either because you still have the insulin like growth factor one. It's nothing healthy about eating chicken. If you're going to eat it, it has to be in very small amounts, about 12 ounces a week. And then you need to bake it. But it's much better um, just to, you know, go to my website, my my website and I post recipes and, you know, you can bread up. Uh, you can make some uh, or you can bread up some organic naturally uh, breading organic tofu uh, like this picture here you know some uh you can have some tofu sticks that's some that's a family favorite and that's a thousand times healthier than uh getting it from than eating uh, this this processed chicken nuggets thousand times healthier okay eating tofu is a trillion times healthier it's not the it's not about you know, first of all you eat it in moderation but it's, it's all the others, the highly processed soy that's dangerous, the highly processed soy. That's what's dangerous. These pro, these fake meats, these vegan junk food meats. But there's nothing wrong with a little bit of tofu here and there. Nothing wrong. Tofu, tempeh and the whole soybean. But what we do is we take it, we process it to the umpteenth degree. Then we put it in everything and then we start demonizing soy when we're the ones that's overusing it and using it far beyond the means that y'all intended. But small amounts here and there is not going to hurt you. And it's a heck of a lot better to get your protein from eating tofu from time to time than eating some doggone chicken nuggets. Uh, pieces of wood and plastics are uh, not you can you can have a little bit of tofu if you're reversing diabetes, trying to reverse high cholesterol, heart disease. Uh, trust me, eating a little bit of tofu ain't going to hurt you. But if you if you if you trying to reverse heart disease, high blood pressure and diabetes, even a little bit of chicken can kill you. Pieces of wood and plastic aren't the strongest or most dangerous things that have gotten inside processed food. Uh, the, the year 2017 alone witnessed two similar incidents in the same month. In April 2017, McCain Foods USA pulled some of its popular hash brown products from the shelves of nine states in Washington, D.C. Why? Because they had pieces of golf balls that were found in some of the hash browns. <laughs> and they crack a joke and say maybe someone was playing miniature golf in the factory during break time. During that same time, same month and year, Fresh Express also recalled one of its salad products to pull back stem from a customer finding unexpected, unasked for and very unappetizing meat in the form of a dead bat, a dead bat, an unclean animal. Well, I'm sorry, according to um, according to, uh, to, to some of these clowns, the, the New Testament said we can eat bats now because it is not is not what comes in and what goes out so uh you can have you some fried bats fried bat meat 
uh, snake, possum, shoot tree bark, concrete bricks. Just pray over it, according to First Timothy four, because it's a it's a doctrine of of demons for me to to tell people to not eat fried bat. Chicken nuggets in particular are very prone to contamination in 2013. And again, in 2015, Tyson Foods recall thousands of pounds of chicken nuggets. Both instances were prompted by pieces of potentially dangerous plastic in the processed food. And in 2014, Applegate Natural and Organic Meats recalled more than 15,000 pounds of its organic chicken nuggets after customers reported finding small pieces of clear plastic in the processed food. The contaminated product happened to be co-packed by Purdue, the same Georgia-based company that is currently pulling its nuggets from groceries. These people have lost all control. They, they, I mean, the, the safety level of these products is slim to none. And the worst type of food is served in the school lunch program. That's the worst. The worst chicken nuggets are served in the school lunch program. I guarantee you they ain't recalled none from that. They take the recall and just give them to the inner city school lunch program. So what they're recalling, they're serving in the in the school lunch program. If you're sending your kids to public schools and you letting the government feed your children lunch at school, you are playing a dangerous, sad game with the health and the brains of your child. The only bright spot about all this is that uh, Applegate didn't wait for the USDA. So I I do stand corrected. I thought it was the USDA. Uh, They did recall it itself. Uh, But how about here? Here's the best option. Stop eating this garbage, period, and just cook fresh foods, fresh foods. So stop eating this garbage, period. And let's be self-sufficient. Let's not be victims. We're not victims. We have the power of the most high Yah to empower us and enable us to do far more exceedingly and abundantly beyond what we ask for. And we should be asking for excellent health. We should be asking for self-sufficiency. We should be asking for him to give us the power to fulfill the promises in scripture concerning our health. And he is far more able and abundantly to do way beyond what we ask for through the power that he gives us in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. So I refuse to be a common man. It is my right to be uncommon if I can. I will not cower before any master nor bend before any threat. I will survive. I will make it. Because through y'all, nothing is impossible. That's our health segment. Eat to live this week. Eat to live this week. Greens, beans, onions, mushrooms, berries, and seeds. Eat the medicine foods of y'all. Facebook, the Minister of Wellness. Get some recipes. Facebook, Monday through Friday. I'm on Instagram, Twitter. My YouTube channel, The Minister of Wellness, I have full-length seminars. Get your notebook and pen and start learning, start applying. My website, The Minister of Wellness, I have books and DVDs. I'm working hard to get my supplements back in stock, but my books and all of my books, all of my DVDs are in stock. Start learning. Get what you can. Knowledge is power. The Minister of wellness.com if you need a wellness consultation the price and what you get is on my website the minister of wellness.com and if you would like to invest in personalized assistance with me then you can reach out to me through my website the minister of wellness.com and i hope to see you all may the 4th saturday may the 4th 12 p.m to 6 p.m is uh right around the corner now the end of spring holistic health fair. I will be delivering the keynote lecture. I cannot wait. Come out and get empowered in person. If these videos are helping you, I'm telling you, coming out and hearing the full lecture live, um, it's an experience that you don't want to miss. I promise you. I promise you. It'll be well worth your time to come on out and get empowered with the truth. I will see. I will return next Wednesday 
Yah willing.